Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the weekly forum, a program of the South Sawa Network that amplifies the voices of South Sudanese doing extraordinary things to build peace in South Sudan and the diaspora. My name is Samuel Garam, and I'm your host for today's show. Joining me in the studio is Mr. Jacob Deng Bolden, a South Sudanese rising star who is pursuing his studies in agricultural sciences at Earth University in Costa Rica. Mr. Jacob Deng, welcome to the weekly forum. Thank you so much, Samuel, and the South Sawa Network for having me on the wonderful forum that amplify the voice of South Sudanese for peace. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Jacob. Once again, uh, welcome to the weekly forum. Uh, please introduce yourself to the South Sawa Network audience, who you are, what brought you to Costa Rica, and any other noteworthy uh, programs that you are pursuing there. Okay, thank you so much, Samuel. Once again, I'm by name Jacob Deng Bolden. I'm a South Sudanese by nationality. I'm currently at Tars University in Costa Rica. I came here in 2000 and 2021, in August, and I came here as a result of winning a MasterCard scholarship because our university has a MasterCard scholarship program that take at least 20 or 21 students in Africa every year. So it was actually not an easy journey for me because since I started my education, I've been struggling uh, for finance, and I've actually got help from a lot of people, from my family, uncles, and, and support from many other organizations. Thank you. Um, yes, that's, uh, that's an interesting journey that you've had from South Sudan all the way to Costa Rica. And then the amazing things that you do that I think should be exciting to many other South Sudanese. So for example, one of them is about the Education Needs All, which is ENA. That's one of the initiatives that you are involved in. Can you tell us a little bit about that, uh, what it is and why you are so passionate about it? Okay, thank you so much uh, for the question. Actually, ENA means Education Needs All. So I said before, when I when I was back in my country, I was struggling to, to get a scholarship, so that I financed my education and, and I continue with my education. And the main goal was not only maybe for me to, to obtain a quality education and, 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 and remain like that, but my main goal and my focus is to, is to get education, get educated, and also help others get the same thing that I've got. That I've got. So when I, when I got a scholarship, I came to Art University, so thank the Masakari Scholarship for offering me this uh, prestigious opportunity. And when I, when I came to Haas University, Haas University opened my mind to, to search for opportunities and also uh, train me to give back to, to my society because the main goal uh, of Haas University is to train young people to become agents of change in their communities and to give back to their communities. So I started the initiative, uh, Education Need All, with some uh, social, uh, some other social needs and national students who are studying in various parts of the world. So to help our students back home, not only in South Sudan, but in Africa as well, to, for them to access opportunities. So the main reasons why we, that, why we came up with the program is that when we look at our, our, at our country, we know that most of the people are in extreme uh, poverty because of the conflict that has been, that has been on between uh, we saw Sudan and Sudan when we were struggling for independence. It has left a lot of families, uh, a lot of young people, orphans, and they, they cannot be able to they cannot be able to, to finance the education. So what we did, we came up with this program to help the unprivileged, uh, talented young people who don't have access to education, especially uh, the senior polyvers. So that's how we came up with uh, with, with Ena. And so the idea of ENA is basically being able to support South Sudanese students with limited opportunities to be able to access like a higher education. So once they complete high school, many students struggle, which all of us, I think we know, that's the, the focus of the program. 
Yes, the, pro the, the program was, uh, was mainly designed for South Sudanese, but currently, as we speak, uh, ENA has extended uh, its earn and, and is actually helping a lot of students, especially in Africa, not only, not only uh, South Sudan, because ENA has program now has WhatsApp program, whereby most of African students are, are on that program, and, and, they, and they, get, they get all the resources that, they, that ENA offer to them. So it means ENA is not only for South Sudanese, but it's also helping Africa. So the main so the main mandate for uh, for for ENA is dedicated to to ensuring that every and and un, un, privileged talented young person has access to quality education through the provision of scholarship opportunities, educational programs, leadership mm -hmm. and entrepreneurship uh, programs. Okay. And our, go ahead, go ahead. And our main mission is to the main mission is to empower these unprivileged, talented young people, because there are a lot of young people there outside, especially in Africa, and specifically in South Sudan. There are a lot of young, uh, young people, uh, talented young people, who can be able to assess opportunities outside here, because there are a lot of opportunities outside here, and they don't have access to them. So ENA came as, uh, as a link to connect them to these opportunities that are available all over the world. So our main mission is to empower them, and our vision is to see like a world that has uh, that. That, that has young people who have actually achieved their goal uh, of assessing quality education. Thank you very much. This is a very noble project. And I think um, if pursued very well, it's going to deliver. So can you mention just like maybe a few examples of uh, the people you are working with at your university, especially from Africa, other parts of Africa that are inspired by this initiative that you are working with. You don't have to mention them by name, but you can mention the countries and the folks you are working with. From what countries? Oh, okay. Thank you so much for the question. I said before, like, ENA is actually, like, uh, focusing on helping South Sudanese, but it's like a global network uh, for young people that is actually working on uh, quality education. So we have, we have various uh, young people who are inspired by, by, by ENA in different parts of the world, uh, especially the team of ENA, us more than 20 students, uh, international students all over the world. We have some in Canada, we have some in Uganda, in Africa, uh, in Rwanda, we have some in Kenya, we also have some in South Sudan because we, we, we know that uh, for us to help students in South Sudan, we need to have people who also have knowledge of this program or who have, who have uh, these resources to also help people back home there in South Sudan. We also have uh, students in India, we have some in South Korea and, and some other part of the world. So we are we we are we are trying to make this one as like a global network to connect mm -hmm. South Sudanese students. Like like the the main idea of this one is for South Sudanese international students who are in different part of the world to actually share the experience with 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 with, uh, with their with their fellows back home, especially in South Sudan yes. and also in Africa. So mm -hmm. we 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 organize orientation for a scholarship. Like for me, if if my scholarship is out. Then I, I organize the orientation for us university scholarship, and then the student will, will, will get more tips on how to on how to how to win so, uh, us scholarship. The same to others in, in Canada who are also under scholarship. The, the same others. So we are also we are also trying we are also trying to to, to to create this global network whereby everyone will be able to share his experience, so that if there are chances on his part, then the student will also get access to those opportunities. Very good. So it looks like it's uh, a network of people who are willing to give back to their communities. And so wherever they are, whether they are South Sudanese, they are Kenyan, they are willing to come together, put their hands together, and be able to also use their knowledge and experiences to inform and even enable other young South Sudanese or other Africans to be able to access the same opportunities, which is yes, really yes. amazing. Yeah, because not many people do that. You know, once you have an opportunity, that's it. You know, you forget about, uh, you know, the people, others. So this is really novel. Let's uh, move on. So you also involved with uh, standing up for global issues, uh, which is uh, SUGI. Can you tell us a little bit about that and why you are so passionate about it? Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the question. Actually, as I said before, like, uh, as university has opened my mind and the opportunity that has been given to me by MasterCard has actually given me, like, uh, has opened my mind to, to actually look for opportunities 
and also to give back to my community. Yes, we always say that let's give back to our communities, but uh, not only just our community that we come from, and that we should uh, give back to them, but we also need to give back to the global community because this global community, we also uh, we need to be also like global citizen. So the idea of uh, Suji, uh, Suji is, uh, is, is a, a, a youth organization that we are just uh, developing as young people from different countries. So we have team from uh, we have team from India, we have team from Egypt, we have team from Cameroon, we have team from Nigeria, we also have team from Pakistan, and we also have team from uh, we also have team from IT. So it means we are we are young people from different from, from different part of the world, and we were inspired because we attended a program that was organized by UNESCO, APCEIU, uh, that was uh, training young leaders, uh, young global leaders. Mm -hmm. uh, to global citizen on, on global citizenship education. So when we when we ended the training, so we came up with this uh, with this uh, initiative to give back to the global community as a global citizen. So the idea of Suji, uh, Suji is standing up for global issues. So we know that there are a lot of global issues, and all of us are required to, to stand up for these global issues to solve them. Because this problem, we don't stand up for them. So we will we will solve them. So we are global citizens. So it means once you solve issues in your in your in your various uh, uh, locality then you are solving a global issue so we we believe that like if you come to the research that use like the youth population is the largest in the history presenting like 16 percent of the global population but we know like and 1.8 billion people however many young people are not aware of the extent of global citizenship as well their roles as a global citizens we know very well that global issues can be addressed by us as young people. So there's no way that we, we can wait. So these global issues can be, can be addressed by global citizens. Therefore, the I, this where this where Suji Youth Organization come in. So we, are, we, we come as young people, we stand up for global issues, for example, like climate change, like poverty, like education. So we are, we are, we, we are standing up for global issues and we are going to, to tackle global issues through global citizenship education, sustainability and regeneration. Uh, and regeneration. And also through uh, sustainable development goals. So these are this, this, this the strategy that we are going to use to, to mobilize young people to, to to stand up for the global issues. So to create awareness, say so that they, they stand up and they know that uh, there is a need for them to be involved uh, in this global in this global movement and global issues. So the main the main mission for Suji is to inspire and mobilize global movement of young leaders committed to addressing the world most pressing challenges. So we know that there are a lot of young young people all over the world, but we need to connect this global movement. We need to mobilize them and inspire them. And to create a world where all young people understand the connectedness of global challenges and work together to create lasting solutions. Very good. I think like uh, I understand like where you are going with uh, with this. And I think like you beautifully mentioned there are so many other global issues out there. And to be able to mobilize young people and particularly underprivileged people like women and all that to be help be addressing this, I think is very critical and it's going to be part of the solution that many people are now looking into, but you are like one of those organizations. But as you also mentioned, there are so many global issues that are uh, pressing. So what would you say would be your top five global priorities that you want to focus on over the next five years or so? Okay, the first main thing that we want to focus on now, one thing is global citizenship education. So global citizenship education, if all young people realize that they are global citizens, then they will be able to stand up for global issues. So that's the main things. And if they, if they stand up for the global issues, we understand that this, uh, our planet uh, is in our hands. And if we handle it well, then we won't handle ourselves. So we are also going to, 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 to work on, the, uh, on climate, uh, climate action or climate change action to also uh, guide young people or mobilize young people for climate change. So we, we're also planning to be having youth lead projects. So in this project, we will be from virus, virus, uh, uh, virus areas like climate change, as I said before, on education, and also on maybe entrepreneurship, and also on other, on other, on other issues like, uh, on, on other issues like uh, gender equality and human rights. So we, 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 want to, we want to, in future, if we, if we get support, then we'll be, we'll be having youth lead projects 
and this will this will motivate young people because uh, young people will, will be striving like they, they will be struggling maybe to work on the pro, uh, projects that can solve glo uh, global challenges like climate change and uh, other other issues like poverty and hunger. So we we are we are planning to have this uh, this, this program, but we'll be we'll also in a short time we'll also be having like youth empowerment programs online because we are we are young people from different part of the world and we we, we we are not in the same place. So we'll be having online program like workshops, seminars, and also a democracy and awareness campaign. So we'll be having these things on online, and we're also planning as one of our strategy. We're also planning uh, in future. Uh, you will get you will get you will get support. Uh, uh, from, uh, we get support from other international organizations and also the governments of our countries. Then we'll be able to uh, then we'll be able to to have uh, different ambassadors from different countries to work on these global issues. Like if we are tackling, if we are if we are, if we are, we are having a program on global citizenship education. Then we'll be having young people to mobilize other young people to understand the sense of global citizenship. So and. Also, we also have been, uh, we also be having programs like global events, like conferences, to to to, to have to have uh, to have to have conferences on on global issues. So, as I said before, another another leadership <clears throat> programs. No, that's uh, that's really amazing because I think uh, having like a platform where young people would be able to come together and work together to try to identify like some of the pressing global issues. And most of these, they vary from community to community. They vary from country to country. They vary from region to region. So I think what you are doing is really great. It's amazing. And I hope uh, most others will be able to follow you. And it looks already like you already have a good uh, followership. And there are people who support that. So I, I really say, uh, good luck with all of that, and we'll be there to follow you and to support you in any way we can as a, a media organization. Now, um, to our final question, we want to make really this uh, short for our audience. Given your experiences, struggles, and accomplishments, what advice can you offer to other young South Sudanese at home and also in the diaspora? Okay, thank you so much for uh, for the wonderful question. So, actually, uh, on the journey, I know that actually not not always easy because there are a lot of obstacles, so on and so on that that pierce you on the way when you are struggling maybe to get opportunities. And one of the most important things on this world, like for us to to involve ourselves in these global issues and and work for the world or and or contribute to the work to create impact. So there's a need for us to, to commit ourselves and involve ourselves. So like for me to, to come to this point, meeting other young people over the world or creating network, uh, it, 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 it requires, uh, uh, it gave me time, uh, I, 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 I took my time to, 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 to commit, commit myself to search for opportunities, look for opportunities where I can, where I can learn, uh, learn a lot about global issues. So. These things gave me gave me gave me gave me chance to meet other other global uh, other global uh, young leaders, and and I and I believe like my message to all uh, young South Sudanese and young people over the world is to always strive for what you like, what you love, or what you are passionate about. So for me, I I know where I come from. I want to I want to I want to upgrade myself to, to be to being a global citizen, and I also want my uh, my 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 fellow citizens South Sudanese. And global citizen to also also do the same thing to realize to know because I always I've been always asking myself who is a who is a proud who is a proud global citizen and who can stand up for global issues so the question I always ask myself the answer is there's no another person who can stand up for global issues if not I so therefore it always that that one always gave me it always propelled me or fuels my my my, my desire to, to to continue seeking for opportunities. So sometimes I, 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 sometime I lost others, sometimes I won others, and that's the same thing. I'm still maybe winning other opportunities to learn, uh, to, to, to upgrade my skills, and also to, to, to network and connect with other young people over the world. And that's the same thing. So when you, are, when, when you get time, you need to have maybe at least as a young person to have time for you to, to, to learn because 
in this world, there's no one who has it all. So you have to learn. And after learning, then you will lead. And if you lead, then you have to take action to make a difference, to make a real difference in the world because all of us, we are looking to make a real difference. It means, therefore, my call to all, uh, all young people is to join us in the moment of sustainability and regeneration or this global uh, uh, global uh, moment or to, to always seek for opportunities to understand more about sustainable development goals because they are the ones that are focusing on addressing pressing challenges in our world. So together we will create a change that we need to see in, in this world at, at this time. Therefore, on, the, on behalf of, of Suji and Ina, so I call young people to stand up for global issues. So, and the question is here remain, will you hit the call? Will you stand for, for the planet? Or will you stand for the global issues? So that's the question. So let's always create the impact. Thank you. Thank you very much. If I heard you correctly, I could summarize uh, your last point as uh, you're encouraging young South Sudanese and global uh, youth to be able to learn, apply your skills, and take action for our uh, global um, uh, for our global peace and safety and anything else. So thank you very much for all you are doing, and I hope your voice will be heard and others will also follow in your footsteps and help you uh, move to the next step. Thank yeah, you very well. much. Yeah, thank you so much. Therefore, also we, we also call upon governments, leaders, businesses, and individuals in this world to, to invest in our potential because we, we believe as young people, if we are empowered, then we can also, we can also be able to, to, to stand up well for the global issues and we can bridge the gap uh, that, that the world is in now. Uh, so thank you so much. Wonderful. It takes all of us, it takes individuals, it takes businesses, it takes governments, it takes society, it takes the world to do all of this. So thank you so much for all you are doing. Uh, once again, uh, we have come to the end of the program. Thank you so much, Mr. Uh, Jacob uh, Deng Bolding. And uh, we hope to be able to see you continue to succeed. And I welcome and I really um, would like our South Sawa Network audience to be able to follow your program and to uh, see how you are moving and be able to support you moving forward. So thank you so much. And thank you also to the South Sawa Network audience for being here and for watching this show. Please, if you have any questions about this and about this program, uh, we can please reach out to me and you can also find uh, Jacob Deng at his uh, website. Uh, it's uh, his website. His organizations are Education Needs All and also Standing Up for Global Issues. So if you ever need anything, you have ever have any questions, please reach out and find us. Thank you so much for your time and thanks for watching and listening to all of this program. God bless you.